All right, hello everyone, it's Teddy, and I'm back with another card opening, or I guess a uh, Commander Precon opening. And today we are opening, oh, the Magic the Gathering Peace Offering Bloomboro Precon. So I really like the idea of Group Hug, and I kind of have a deck that uses Miss Bumbleflower as the commander already made that is going to improve it a bit because unfortunately I think the pre-cons are kind of getting uh, power crept out of my table's meta. So yeah, let's just uh, get to opening that, I guess. So how do we... We will go ahead and peel here. There we go. Open it up from the bottom. And we will... Oh, look at that! It's got art on the actual thing this time. I've never seen that. So, that's cool. Uh, pull out our booster box. And we also get a collector... Oh, collector booster sample pack. We could get something good in here. But, more importantly, let's go ahead and unfold our deck box. There we go. The deck box actually came in, like premium shape. I know last time uh, with the Draconic Destruction Precon, which is also a video on the channel, already uploaded, it came a little damaged, but this one came in, you know, pristine cardboard condition. Obviously, it's not the best thing to be storing your Precon in, but, you know, it, it works. It gets the job done. So, oh, also, the tagline here is more bunny, more problems. So, I say, let's start looking into the deck. So we'll slip this out, slip the little guide out. Don't need any of these because we have ways to interact with this normally. So yeah, I don't know. This feels a lot more premium than it normally does. I'm not gonna lie, this set. Oh, and there's Miss Bumbleflower herself. Vigilance, one five, four mana. Uh, whenever you cast a spell, target opponent draws a card. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on a target creature. It gains flying until the end of the turn. If this is the second time this ability is resolved, you draw two cards. So, she is pretty great. I, I've seen a lot of decks that go with wheels for her. Uh, I've seen decks that go for uh, cantrips. And I was the deck I'm going for that I made in like MTG Goldfish is more of a wheels deck. It's lots of card draw for everybody and it seems really cool. Uh, I think it could use some work still and I'm thinking of another deck that I could run with her or maybe to do uh, also doing a Quain deck because I like the idea of group hug and this is the first pre-con that I've ever seen that's mentioned it. I heard the professor say that the reason people don't run the, or they haven't made a group hug pre-con yet, is because it's not really for beginners. And I get that, because I, I guess presumably beginners are the only ones buying pre-cons, but the truth is, I really like pre-cons. And I guess I'll explain why in this video. It's because they're kind of like right within my budget range, which is like $50. That's what I want to spend on a, uh, on a commander deck, or really the most I want to spend on any deck. So if I were to play standard, probably $50 at max would be what I'd want to spend. Sorry, I'm just having so much trouble with this. It's like not giving way to... Okay, we got another corner ripped. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it. But yeah, uh, I want to spend 50 bucks at most because I don't really have the money to be spending like $100 on a commander deck. So, uh, the pre-cons are kind of a sweet spot, but yeah, I'm getting power crept out of the table. So, it's a little unfortunate, but we're going to go about this the same way as we normally do. Actually, I think we normally, if we get, this might be the second time we've gotten a collector booster sample pack. So, I'm going to open it at the end. And first, let's remove the tokens and just look at those, I guess. So, we've got an elephant, maybe a generous gift in there. Steel Burr Champion, which is super cool. Squid. Uh, Island Walk. Oh, that's cool. Rabbit. These feel different. 
Uh, maybe it's just because they're new and I've been using sleeved cards so often now. Octopus. Oh, Octopus is my 8-8 token. That's super cool. Treasure. And a cat. Rabbit. Fish. Bird. Fish. Elemental. 4-4. Four, four. And shark. Okay. And a poison counter. Player with 10 poison counters loses the game. And that's it. Okay. Token's done. Now, let's get into the actual deck. First off, I'd like to compliment the, like, alt art or whatever it's called. The fact that there's card art throughout the entire thing and you can kind of see down here. It looks fantastic. You can see the foil effect. I'm really excited for Miss Bumbleflower because, like, green, white, and blue are, like, the group hug colors in my mind. Like, I know the gay kings are, like, what you think of when you think of group hug, but... I feel like red isn't really necessary for the formula. It's just kind of because they have a good group hug ability that they're used. But yeah, let's check it out. Mr. Foxglove, the alternate commander. Life link, whenever he attacks, draw cards equal to the number of cards and defending player's hand minus the cards in your hand. If you didn't draw cards, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, cheating if you have a big hand. Uh, creatures out, which is pretty good, but he doesn't have trample or anything. So, I'm gonna put Miss Fox, uh, sorry, Miss Bumbleflower over there. Tamio, field researcher in special art. Oh, maybe she's the alternate commander, but I don't think you can have a planeswalker as a commander unless it, like, explicitly states so. But I could be wrong about that. But she's also foil and same colors. She's pretty strong. I've seen her. A lot of people are running her in this deck. But, yeah, let's keep going. Tenuous Truce. Lauren of the Third Path, a great, this is actually a staple in Group Hug. Steelbird Champion, new for the set. It has Offspring 1, and whenever an opponent has a non-creature spell, put a 1-1 counter. Template Bunnies, looks really good, more card draw. Perch Protection, great spell, you gift an extra turn, which is kind of insane. It's basically a very, very expensive Teferi's Protection. Sunscorch Reagent, whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a 1-1 counter on Sunscorch Reagent, and you gain life. Very cool, but really expensive. Promise of Loyalty, great spell. Hoof Prince of a Stag, don't know much about that. Mangara the Diplomat. Oh, I saw people putting her uh, Mangara in this deck, and I wasn't sure why, but I guess it's for more card draw. Realm Cloak Giant. Oh, this is cool. This was one of the more expensive cards that I left out of it, my deck, when I was building it because I didn't realize it was in it. But that's great. When it enters, target opponent draws a card and you draw three. So group huggy. Forgotten Ancient. Oh, is this the, oh, this is the one that I've, yeah, new art. Bro Bloodroot Apothecary, I know a lot of people are excited for because it just shuts down treasure tokens. No more Dockside Extortionist, I guess. Communal Brewing's fun. You get to choose how many people draw to. Mana Gorger Hydra is incredibly strong. Vrishkar. Rites of Flourishing. Yeah, I'm super excited. I've heard that people are just, like, really happy with the pre-con quality in Bloomborough because I've been getting more and more into magic as I've as time has passed. Colonial Hydra is, like, a $7 card. I didn't put it in my deck because it was too expensive, but, hey, you get it for in this pre-con, so... Pretty good. Faber Elder, Simic Ascendancy, that's gonna be a win con for this deck because I'm gonna be drawing a lot of cards. I didn't know why so many people were putting this in their deck, but now that I know it's, it comes with the Psychosis Crawler. This is actually looking really strong. Oh, and look at that. We've got some cool lands. Let's skip the lands. I know, I'll be honest, most of the lands you're going to be getting in here aren't going to be crazy lands that are have, like, super cool effects. They're just going to be, like, Exotic Orchard, I guess. Some of these will be worth money, but I just think the... Oh, there's one. Triskay Decafile. I've seen this one. 13 cards on your upkeep. You win the game. You have a way to draw cards on anyone's turn, I believe, because you can just use this whenever and no max hand size. Great. Chasm Skulker, just fantastic card if you're drawing cards. Octomancer really leans into what uh, she does. Another way to max your, or, you know, have way too much hand size. And an alternate win condition too. Intellectual Offering, choose an opponent, even that opponent, draw three cards. Untap, 
all non-land permanents and that non-land permanents that player controls. Wow, very group huggy. This is basically a fog, body of knowledge. Body of knowledge is just fantastic if you have a big hand. Return all creatures to their owner's hands or return all non-token creatures. Oh, yeah. Jory L, great because it synergizes with Miss Bumbleflowers wanting to draw two cards. Fisher's Talon is kind of memey because realistically, I think it should cost even less to upgrade these because this just makes your opponent stronger because you have a lot of gift attacked fish. Silvala is another staple of the group hug. Love that he's in here. Quain is the group hug commander. If you're not running the gay canes, you're probably running Quain. Such a fantastic card. I love that this has so many uh, like necessary ingredients in the group hug section. Like you're getting so many staples, it's just so valuable. Coveted Jewel, uh, not gonna do much for us. It's more draw generous gift. Yeah, that's where the elephant swords to plowshares. Secret Rendezvous, another good one. Baird, Steward of Argiv. Creatures can attack you. Oh, look! It's like a minor ghostly prison. Except, you know, you have to... It's a creature you can kill, which is an offer you can't refuse. Super cheap counter spell. Wizard class. Fantastic. Cultivate some Farseek. We got some... Uh, what's it called? Some ramp in here. Broken wings. Just a really good... I, I, I guess I'd say okay, because I guess you can't target anything. You can't target creatures without flying, but still good. Spore frog, super cool. Wear down is just like the most fantastic card in my mind. It's so cheap and you get to destroy target, two target artifacts or enchantments, which in my table are always the biggest threat because we've kind of figured out creature removal. And this is just super valuable to, for getting your fun cards like Quain and Silvala back. Probably you're supposed to get something more valuable. Coiling Oracle. Huh. Reveal the top card if it's a land. Oh, look, he's kind of like ramp or draw. You gain one life for each creature your opponent controls. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you this turn. Okay, so this is, like, good against token decks. But it's another fog, a little more expensive. Martial Impetus. Impetus. Creature gets 1-1 one, one and goaded whenever it attacks. Each other creature that's attacking one of your opponents. Wow. Okay, that is spooky. Jolly Gerbils. Whenever you gift a card, draw a card. Long Grivers Pull. Another great counter spell. Uh, basically, you're just going to gift a card. This is what it's all about. Another max hand size. Arcane Signet. Swift foot Boots. Well, Fell War Stone. Mana Mind Stone. Just, you know, ramp. Thriving Heath. Thriving Isle. I have a lot of these in the deck. Evolving Wilds. Thriving Grove. Terramorphic Expanse. Command Tower. Reliquary Tower. Sea oh, another max hand size. Seaside Citadel. Just a fantastic card if you're running more than one color. And then all the basic lands. Uh, yeah, so I'll cover my thoughts on this deck. Really insanely good value for a, uh, you know, a pre-con. Because a lot of pre-cons, at least, I've covered a lot of starter commander decks on this channel. And you'll notice one big problem with the starter commander decks is they don't really go in a direction. And they feel kind of aimless. However, this is like, if you are running a group hug pre-con, you get Quain, you get Silvala if you're looking to go more that direction. Like green, white instead. Or if you're, you could get transfer a lot of cards from this deck, like 13 of them at least, into the Gay Kings deck you're building, and it would be very good. Or you could, you know, switch out, you know, put Quain as the commander. It'd make things a little harder because, you know, you have green in here, but you could do that realistically and shift over to a Quain deck. And I, I just think this is such a fantastically crafted deck. Only heard good things about the pre-cons so far. I've heard the swirl is the biggest value, but, you know, since I talk about, you know, relatively, like, what you should invest, if you're, like, money-centric and the only thing you're looking for is value out of your decks, then I recommend the squirrel one because it's already, you know, it's probably gonna shoot up in price. Oh, and look, it's already kind of ripped. All right, let's see what we get in here. This is a collector booster sample. Let's see. Okay, nope. 
we got Season of the Burrow! Oh, that's such a good card! And Playful Shove. I can't use that one damage to any target draw card. I guess that's not bad. But Season of the Burrow! Oh, I'm so happy about that. And it's the full art. It's not the... Or it's like the same art as Miss Bumbleflower. That's fantastic. I thought that was in this deck already, but I didn't actually see it when I was running through it. So maybe this is guaranteed to be pulled from this pack. But that is so nice. Look at that. Awesome. Well, I'm going to get all of this stuff sleeved, and I, I think that's all I really wanted to talk about today. I'm very happy with the quality of this pre-con. It has a lot of cards, like, you know, obviously it has Reliquary, Tower, Thought Vessel, but it also has Quain, Savala, uh, you know, the 13 cards in hand. 20 Toad Toad, you might see a lot more, but it has cards in it that are actually transferable into other pre-cons, or sorry, into a full-fledged sub, uh, what's it called? Group Hug deck. And I'm super happy about it. And although this might be the last pre-con I purchased for a while, or actually the last deck I purchased for a while, just because money, uh, I'm super happy with it, and I can't wait to try this out against my friends. I'll update you next time I make a magic video, which might actually be sooner than you think, but it might not be an, a card opening video. I might just be talking about Commander as a game mode. Either way, I'll see you all soon, and bye-bye!